Jen here, what is up and welcome. So um, today I am ready to go and I'm super excited about this because I've always wanted to try like the one, two lashes and like all these magnetic lashes, but I lure, let me open these bad boys up. I have not used these, I have not tried these. I have never tried magnetic lashes, but these are them, okay? Dun, 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 dun. And they look simple enough to use. I read the directions. Let's just put the top on, connect the bottom, and voila, you're done. So, if you want to see if these magnetic lashes by iLure actually work and what they look like, then keep on watching. <laughs> Okay, so a little bit of information here. It comes in this cool little package like this. It's plastic, it's what you put them back into. It's one set and it says you could use it for 15 uses, I think. But honestly, I would say if you clean them properly, you could probably wear them a really long time until the magnets wore out. It comes with this little plastic applicator and it's a top and bottom, just one set. The price was $16.99. So compared to other magnetic lashes that are like $50 and $60, these are very reasonably priced. I got these at Ulta um, in Rogers, Arkansas. That's the Ulta that I live closest to. So that's where I went. So I have my handy dandy KVD mirror and my handy dandy plastic connector that came with these lashes. So we're going to try this first here on my channel with you. My first time ever using them. I have not tried to apply them. I've read the directions. It says to put the top one on top of your lashes. Put the top one on top of your lashes and then stick the other one up underneath and the magnet should catch and that should be it. So, um, let's see. All right. Well, when you're looking at it, it's opposite. So it's like left here, right here. Um, so I'm going to turn it the way that it looks proper to me and I'm going to go ahead and grab one out of here. I, I'm not sure how easy the tools are to use. Okay. Okay. Well, there's the right one for the top and here's what it looks like. Pretty simple. You can see the little magnets there. Honestly, I have hooded eyes, so these probably won't be just whisked out to the end. This will probably cover my entire lash, so I'm not sure how it's going to look on me either. But we're going to find out here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take the bottom one off as well. And I'm just going to go ahead and set it down here so it's ready to go. And we're just going to do what they say here. Let me grab my mirror. It says to place on top of lashes that are already kind of, uh, what do you call it, ready to go, like mine. And then take the bottom part and attach. Well, is it going to attach over here? Oh my gosh, I just dropped the tool. Okay that's them. BRB, I dropped my little tool. Okay, so I'm back and here is the lash. Um, it's very, very curly. It connected pretty easily. It wasn't too terrible. Um, let's just let you see up close and personal kind of what it looks like. So it does kind of drag the corner of my eye down with a hooded eye. It does make my eye look very closed off. Um, but it doesn't feel bad. It's not like super heavy. It's not irritating to the eye. Um, I don't think it looks very natural. And it says it's just supposed to be for the outside of the eye, which is exactly where I put it, even with my eyelashes. Um, maybe it's meant for people that have more lengthy eyelashes on their own in the front. I'm not sure. So let's try to apply the other ones a little more in and kind of make it like our entire lash because I don't know this just looks kind of funky to me <laughs> all right I'm going to take them both out of the container again see it's got the little magnets you can put it back in it'll reshape it that's super fun all right and handy dandy mirror again we get our top lash here and oh. Let 
let's see. This one isn't working out as good as the other one. It doesn't want to like sit on my lashes as well. Yeah, it doesn't want to do what I want it to. <laughs> All right, let's point it down then. All right, and then we'll grab the other piece. I kind of like the position better on this, but did they connect? I think they did. Okay. I kind of like this one better. Um, I just like the position of it. Um, it just looks better to me, to be honest, a little bit further into the eye. Um, it looks a little more natural on the eye. So maybe if you have a hooded eye, don't wear it so far on the outside. Kind of move it in to the center a little and then connect it and it will look a little more natural on you. For me, I have a lot of mascara on my bottom lashes and they are pretty long. But it looks kind of odd on the bottom here. Does anybody else feel the same way? Do you feel like maybe they're a little too curly? I'm not sure. Okay, let's see what it's like to remove them okay and they're fairly easy to get apart so what i want to do is try this again on this eye and see if we can get it to look like this one because this one i don't really mind all right so we're gonna just come over the top here oh this eye is so easy i don't know why i'm not even using the tool Oh, oh, let out. Okay. Does anyone else feel like maybe this one's like way too much more like, I know it's too much more fanned than the other one. It's like, it's got way more lashes on it. Oh, I see. Ha! Okay. Let's try that again. Okay. So these are not as easy as they sound. And... Okay, they came apart pretty good. I'm going to stick the bottom ones on the container. They go back on really neat. And I'm going to try to use the tool this time and see if that does help. Okay? All right, let's go again. Top eyelash. Mm, not really. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty good. You get it just right, and then you got to look down, you know what I mean? <laughs> Making my eyes kind of water. All right, so we've got them connected, and we've got them on. To be honest, they don't look the same on my eyes. They look very different, and I'm not sure why that is, because I did them the exact same way. And you guys watched me. So... These are the Eyelure Magnetic Eyelashes, and I think I'm just going to like go take some pictures, maybe post them on my Instagram stories. You guys can go and check that out. I may post them today while I have them on, or just take them and post them later. But they are kind of like tickling up here on my eye, and maybe that's because I have a hooded eye, so they look a little bit funny on me. Um, I mean, I don't hate them. I don't know. I just, they're just different. You know what I mean? They're just very different. So, um, let me know if you guys try the Eyelure Magnetic Lashes or not. And what are your thoughts? Do they look good? Do they not look natural enough? Should I return them? Was it worth my $16.99? Are you going to be getting them? And do you like this type of thing? So, before you leave, make sure you subscribe down below. It's completely free. Go ahead and ring the notification bell so you don't miss an upload from me. And I think that's it. What do we think? What do we think from the side? How do I feel about that? All right, that's it. I love you guys. Do good, be good, you are good. I'm out.